Now when we touch 24 volt to the coal, not only does our coal turn on, our light turns on also. There are two parts to every relay that you need to understand. And that is the coil and the contact. And the coal is simply a coal of wire. And if we apply power to a coal of wire, what do we get? It's an electric magnet. That's right. And so when we do that, it's going to make this contact pull this direction. And when we de-energize it, there will usually be a spring right here that will push it back the other way. So in this relay arrangement, the common is the one that both contacts can touch. The one that's normally touched is our normally closed. And the one that's normally not will be the normally open. So let's start by applying plus and minus 24 volt to our coal. Here's a typical relay diagram. And this bottom part is the coal and this top part is the contact. So in this case, A1 is the plus, A2 is the minus. And most importantly, you remember from the light exercise, it didn't matter which way we connected them. Mm -hmm. These right here are called diodes. And when you start seeing these, that's when you know polarity matters. So we will need to put the plus here and the minus here. And when we do that, we're going to see this contact switch right here. Take a wire from the minus terminal block to A2. Don't need it. And that's what's so awesome about these. You don't even need that screwdriver in your hand. Now connect a wire to A1. And now I am going to touch this wire to our plus 24. And we see it operating now. Here's the coal, that coal of wire that you see there. And every time I apply voltage to it, it's creating a magnetic field. And that's what's pulling this contact back and forth. Love that. Now we can take a wire from the plus 24 volt to 41 to feed power to that contact that we're switching. And we're going to take a wire from 44, which is the normally open, to our green light. And then we're going to take our green light back to the minus for power supply. Woo, that was a lot. Let's do this. Looking at our diagram, here's the plus 24. That's the left set of terminals, right set of terminals. And we already have the minus connected to the coal. We have that loose wire. And that's what we're touching to the plus 24 volt to make these contacts move. We're going to take that same 24 to 41, and then we're going to take 41 onto our green light. And then we will take the other side back to the minus. Amazing. So I have a question just off camera, back to your diagram. Mm hmm Why well, it's not, we don't have a full current though, right? Because it's not connecting. This is an off-camera question. This is a perfect on-camera question. So this coal, when it energizes, remember, it's actually up here. And it's going to make a magnetic field. And it's going to pull, pull that it. contact up and touch right here. Got it. That is a great question. Let's take another wire from our plus terminals to 41, which is the top terminal on our relay. Then take a wire from 44, which is the middle terminal. And we're going to take it to our green light. Then to complete our path of current, we're going to take a wire from the other side of the green light back to the minus of our power supply. Now when I apply 24 volt, we have our light and we have our coil lighting up. Also on most relays, you'll find an override. And so if we look at the front of this relay here, here's the override. If I raise it up, it turns on. Why does it turn on if you raise it up? What does the override do? Well, excellent question. If we look at the side of this again, as I raise this up, you can see it mechanically moving that contact. So it is doing the exact same motion that energizing the coal would do. Now that we know how a relay works, we are going to wire a start-stop circuit. Click here to follow us over there.